What is up? Justin from Mountain Bike, Massachusetts. And today we're taking a look at the rack stash. Cue that montage. Like the name says, the rack stash is a way to stash your rack. In particular, any one and a quarter or two inch hitch rack. The idea is that you can store your rack vertically and flush against the wall. We have a pretty tight, small, single car garage, so when I'm not using my hitch rack like during the winter season, having it on the ground really isn't ideal. I'm usually just leaning it up against the wall, which isn't the best use of floor space. It scratches things up and scratches up the rack too. So the idea here is just I want to get it off the floor. So we have like the snow blower in the winter time. In the summertime we have our cargo bike here. So if I can get it like right in this space off the floor, so much better. Out of the box, you can see that it's real beefy. With the body made out of steel and powder coated for a durable finish, it looks like it's going to last. They definitely paid attention to detail on the manufacturing side of things, and honestly, probably where a lot of the cost comes from. For installation, here's what you need. A drill, a one quarter inch drill bit, a ratchet with a 9 16 socket. I would suggest an extension and a deep 9 16 socket if you have one. A marker or pencil and a speed level. So to kind of get an idea of how high I need to mount this, what I think I might do is just like dry fit my rack into the rack sash and hold it up and kind of gauge where on the wall I need to do this so it's at the right height, so it's not too high and not too low. And it's not that bad. It doesn't even stick out that far when you're not using it, so it won't really take up any valuable real estate in our garage because our garage is small. Installation is really straightforward and should be pretty easy for most everyone. First, locate a spot on the wall where you want to install the rack stash. Using a stud finder, locate a stud closest to that spot. Thing won't stop going off when it's around me. <laughs> Dad joke. Grab a speed level and using the holes as a guide, mark the spots for the three lag bolts. It's going to be rated for 90 pounds. So even with like some of your heavier hitch racks, I think my Yakima only weighs like 35. So um, you'll definitely be able to store and hold even some of the burlier um, two up racks. Maybe a four up rack if you wanted to. Oh, shameless plug, the hoodie that I'm wearing. Made by 1620, dudes around in Massachusetts. All their stuff's made in Mass too. Um, pretty killer workwear. I have a pair of their shorts and their pants already, which I use for trail building. Um, and I love them, they're super durable. Lifetime guarantee too, so pay a little extra money, but you have a peace of mind that if anything goes wrong with it, if you have to repair it, send it to them, they'll fix it. Um, and it's made in America, so pretty solid. At first, like, didn't like how long the hoodie was, and I realized why they do it. It's because when I'm, like, bending over to pick something up in front of the camera, you guys aren't gonna see my butt cracks. Pre-drill holes with a quarter inch drill bit to a depth of about two and a quarter inches. Then secure the lag bolts with a 9 16 socket, and you're done. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. That is super sweet. It's enough out of the way. I think I can still even do like, oh, I can totally do pull-ups still here too. That is perfect. And if you wanna like secure your rack, even for like security reasons, like you put your hitch pin, if you have a locking pin, it goes in there. Um, and here I can just basically just tighten up my, the cam system and lock it into the walls. The hitch blocks that, that third bolt in here so no one could like unbolt it from the wall and take the whole thing out. You could even run like a cable lock through these accessory holes um, if you had stuff that was in here you want to lock to the wall. So a little added bonus security measure with the rack stash. Pretty pumped. And these accessory holes here, you have a two inch one here and a one and a quarter at the top here. So if you had other like ball hitches you want to store, you actually can store these in the rack stash. And one added bonus of installing the rack stash is that it can actually pull some double duty. With it being rated for 90 pounds, you could store your bike on the rack if you have the room. Or if you need a temporary bike stand, you can do some minor repairs with your bike in the rack. If you don't have a two inch rack to fit in here, what you do is you unbolt two bolts here, two bolts here, take these inserts, flip them 180, and then it will accept an inch and a quarter hitch. So you don't have to worry about getting a new rack sash if you upgrade or change your racks. For the money, I don't have many complaints. For around 60 bucks, yeah, maybe it could be cheaper, but with the quality of it, I know it's gonna last. The construction is high quality, so I don't really expect any issues. My hitch rack has a dedicated spot in the garage, off the floor, and out of the way. 
Rackstash for the win. Rackstash for the win. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and share it with your riding buddies who could use something like the Rackstash. Thank <laughs> you.